Alright, welcome back to the Metasploitable tutorial. In this video we're going to go ahead and take a look at this port 25 SMTP service. SMTP is an email service and has to do with uh, sending and receiving emails and that sort of thing. So, um, go ahead and look and see what you can find on this. I will tell you that we're not going to exploit this service to give us a shell onto the system, but there is a way we can use this service to get us a lot of information that would help us exploit other um, services on this host. So go ahead and see what you can find. All right, welcome back. If you found some stuff on this SMTP service, found a way to kind of let it give you some more information, awesome job. Now, what we're going to do is we can use this SMTP service to enumerate some users. Then we can use those users, um, you know, like on these previous ones, the SSH brute force and the Telnet brute force. So instead of having like a massive list of users that you just have that are random, that's going to take forever. If you can have a short user list that has users you know are on that system and then a big password list to test against those users it's going to cut down a lot on the time so we're going to go ahead and open our metasploit console here we're going to use another um, auxiliary scanner smtp slash smtp underscore enumeration or enum we show our options here. We can see we've got our port 25. And we have our user file, which is one that's built in the Metasploit framework that has a list of users. Now you could have your own user file that you found somewhere else. And basically what this does is it tests um, it it tests the database coming from SMTP against its user list. So this user list has a lot of users in it, but if you have one that's even bigger, you could change this user file variable to your user list. In this case, we're just going to leave a default, see what it finds. We do need to set our hosts to the correct one. And then we'll run it. We'll see what kind of users this can come up with. Now this can take a little while, so I'm going to pause the recording and we'll come back when it's finished. All right, our scanner has finished and it has found these users on the system. So we can create a new user file that has these users in it and we know for a fact that these users are on the system and we can test our passwords and stuff against them. Uh, and use them in our brute forcing steps like we did before with the SSH and the Telnet. That's all for uh, port 25 SMTP, so I'll see you in the next one.